So just a uh, quick addendum on the video I just published a few days ago uh, regarding using IPA on things. Um, there's another point I wanted to make that I don't think I explained well enough in the video, um, but a lot of people seem to think that IPA is a general cleaner, which in some cases that is true. In some cases it is not true. Um, I saw this Reddit post today where this user had used some IPA on their Game Boy Advance shell, and you know, I, I it's besides the point that they didn't do it on purpose, but the point is that it did destroy the shell. You can see all those cracks in it. And now they had spilled the IPA accidentally, but a lot of people will intentionally use IPA on shells, and that is kind of what I was trying to um, tell people to avoid doing in that video. Uh, after some more digging, it looks like they are using this IPA in particular, which after uh, looking through the listing, looks like it's in particular for for um, nails, um, manicure stuff. I, to be honest, I, I have no idea specifically what it's used for. It says 100% acetone free and 99.9% .9 isopropyl, but scrolling through some of the reviews says that is probably not true. Um, and after looking at how it destroyed that person's shell, I'm ready to agree with this statement. And uh, I, I wasn't able to find a data sheet for this stuff in particular, but granted, I didn't look very hard. I didn't spend more than about two minutes looking. Uh, but this is the stuff that I personally use, this MG Chemicals 824 isopropyl alcohol. I use this stuff and I haven't had a single problem with it degrading um, uh, ABS plastics. Uh, I don't know what the specific indicator for IPA is, you know, the, the, the good stuff, uh, but one thing that I'm liking about this stuff is that it says it's suitable for use in food processing facilities. I don't know that the stuff with acetone diluting it would be suitable for that. Another thing I'm noticing is um, according to yet another law in uh, California, uh, IPA must be diluted by with either water or acetone um, to be used. I don't, I don't know the specifics on this. I don't know if that seller's doing it beforehand. But either way, you do not want to use acetone on plastics. It will destroy the plastic. I suspect that's what the additive was in that person's IPA despite the listing saying otherwise, um, because IPA doesn't do that to plastic. Not not regular IPA. Again, this is the stuff I like. Um, if you can get your hands on it, it seems pretty good. If not, the medical section, or uh, I think it's the medical section. You want to look in the medical section for this stuff, because you don't want any additives. Uh, unfortunately, this user had made a mistake, and you live and you learn, um, but just just try to avoid uh, this sort of stuff. Um, and if you don't know what's in your acetone, spot check first. That's, that's what I was trying to say. You know, you spot clean, you apply it to a little bit, of, little area. Uh, with a shell specifically, you can just apply a small dab to the inside, see what happens. Um, unfortunately, you know, I, I, yeah, I know that one, that one in particular, I'm sorry for throwing you under the bus. If you end up seeing this video, um, Reddit user who I'm going to try not to dox, even though I probably already did. Um, I'm not targeting you specifically and I'm sorry for using you as an example. And I know that it wasn't intentional what you did, but I just think it's, I think it's a good example because this is not the first time I've seen it. I just happened to see it again and I wanted to reiterate the point. Um, that's all I've got. I will throw a link, a non-affiliate link, to this stuff down in the description if you want to get some. It is a little bit pricey, but it is also a huge bottle, and I've been using the same bottle for at least a year, maybe two now. It's almost empty, but, you know, it goes, a little bit goes a long way. As long as you're not, like, so soaking your boards in, it seems to be good. Um, otherwise, that is, uh, that's all I got. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll uh, catch you next time.